Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown in this lesson is the initial screen view when you open a new presentation in PowerPoint 2007. The first thing that you should notice is that the PowerPoint screen consists of two windows, the application window and the presentation window. A presentation is the default object in PowerPoint. The presentation window opens up inside the application window. The presentation window is where you create and modify the slides in your PowerPoint presentations. You may close the presentation window without closing the PowerPoint application. This allows you to open and close different presentations without having to restart the program. The application window is the outer frame of the program. It consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the presentation window itself. When you close the application window, PowerPoint will close. It will also prompt you to save unsaved changes in any open presentations that you were working on before closing. The presentation window appears inside of the application window. It contains the various views of the individual slides that we compile into an individual presentation. The slides contain multiple objects which we manipulate to create the contents displayed in the individual presentation slides. Next, let's look at the objects in both windows. The first object that we will point out is the new ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands available for your use within the program. For upgrading users, you will find that the new ribbon both replaces and combines the older menu bar and the various toolbars, like the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar, that you have been used to using. We will discuss this tool and other tools in separate lessons within the chapter. You will also need to familiarize yourself with the new Microsoft Office button that is located in the upper left corner of the application window. Clicking this button allows you access to the most common file functions, such as creating a new presentation, saving presentations, and printing. To the right of the Microsoft Office button and above the ribbon is the new Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You will notice several important buttons are already set here, such as Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that you have added to this toolbar as well. Of course, at the top of the window, you will see the name of the current presentation that you have open. This will appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all of the tools, the current presentation is displayed. This is where you create the actual slides in the presentation. Most of the actual work in PowerPoint will be done using this presentation window. At the right side of the presentation window, you will see a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your presentation if your presentation is wide or if you zoom in on the current slide. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your slides. You can use the horizontal scroll bar, if shown, to scroll left and right across the presentation slides. Speaking of zooming the presentation, you can now easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the new zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various presentation view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your presentation as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default, and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the PowerPoint application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.